Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Worlds of Magic, the Civilization D20 RPG mix that we should all be playing if we were right in our heads. This game is the better version of Masters of Magic, Age of Wonders, Age of Wonders, Shadow Magic, Eador, Fallen Enchantress. This game is the best of its kind if you ask me. I'm going to show you the game again because I already did but I have to stop the recordings because the update fried all my save games. Those of you who know Age of Wonders or Masters of Magic know that they're different planes that you can live on and that you can switch beyond. And here there are seven of them in Masters of Magic there were two and in Age of Wonders Shadow Magic there were three. Each of these uh, little planes here has its bonuses and debuffs. And we'll show you that later. We're taking the maximum world size. Of course, we're taking the maximum number of victims. Uh, I mean opponents. And we're going for the highest possible difficulty level. As for faction, there are the humans, medical and everything. And they're not as tough as this guy may look. They're the undead and they're exactly like this guy look. Not very cheering up. Not very warm to the heart. The Grey Elves. Yeah, it looks like he's carrying his shield the wrong way, but actually this guy is capable as long as he's not carrying a shield, because you get the best starting units with the Grey Elves, and that's the reason I take them. And they produce money from population, uh, mana from population. Draconians. Good in theory, not as good in practice. Why? Draconians have very, very small units, which means a troop of them normally consists only of three than of normally four people. And they are more that like the dragoons in the Napoleon area, if you know that part of history. Which means they do not fly in battle, they fly to battle. And as soon as they engage someone in close combat, they land. Yes, I know you're thinking, why not take a dragoon? draconian give him a bow or a ballista or a catapult or whatever and let him fly and shoot from above he does not do that there are only two units of them who can do range attacks and they do not have much mana or ammunition in other case there are the orcs don't confuse them with the tolkien orcs or the warhammer orcs these guys are civilized intelligent and very well organized the dwarves they build roads yes romans did that too so, if you play, want to play roads, I do not know, play SimCity? Dark Elves. I think you must be a Dark Elf person to like them. I know Dark Elf persons, I'm not one of them. Strange units and... No, 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 no. Too much unrest, too low growth and too easy to kill. And not enough ranged units. Uh, the Myrdons. Well, these guys are like insects and that they no, do not build that well. Those of you who know the Clackens from Masters of Orion or the insect guys from Masters of Magic know that these guys normally, these insect guys, built like hell. Well, they even built faster than Chinese. But these guys here not. In this game, not. So, Grey Elves is our choice. As for the Lord, we need a color. We take blue. We need a name. We need first negative disciplines. Ascantic, what does that mean? We cannot stockpile more than 1000 gold. That is a big drawback, because most good items that you can buy in the game cost more than 1000 gold. So by taking this, we'll deny ourselves a lot of items. We're taking Butcher, because, well, we all know Diablo. And, yeah, we conquer cities rarely, I hope. And when we do, we don't care about the population. They're not our guys anyway. Heretic, no, because we need the power. Opulent. I'm an opulent person myself, but no, we cannot waste that for our empire. Prude. I do not like prudeness in any way. Not in life, not in telephone, not in writing, and not in person, and hell not in my empire. Tyrant. I might be a tyrant, ask my family, but I do not want my people to know that. As for the positive disciplines, we need Art Mage, because plus 10 additional spellcraft is king. Enchanter. Yes, enchanting is the best way to cast, if you ask me, because those units of the enemy that you can cast spell on, spells on are not your problem to begin with. For example, if you're fighting a dragon, you will not be throwing fireballs at him. No way. You will cast spells on your own units so that they kill the dragon. Uh, enlightened expansionist is quite nice, but we'll not need that. Gate master. Oh, yes, but mobility is king, but we don't take that. Luck. Definitely, because luck beats skill, skill never beats luck. 
we take Mento because I want a hero to begin with, because I love heroes. Merchant, we need the money. And Warlord, because plus two uh, levels for your units will make a difference in the end. The spells, there's an inner circle and an outer circle. The outer circle are the elements, uh, the elements, the inner circle are the schools, you could say. They combine by meaning we take four points in argumentation and one point in life will enable us to t cast argumentation spells of all schools up to level four and of life to level five. We take two in earth, which means we can cast earth argumentation spells to level six and normal earth spells to level two. One point in fire. We need a picture that fits and that looks good. And this guy sure as hell looks, might not good, but he looks. And our beauty lies in the eye of the beholder. Spells. From life we take tranquility, very important. More important than healer and heal, because we will have druids, they can heal very well. From the earth path we take mineral attunement and earth to mud, also very important. We can even think of changing this one here to acid arrow because I totally like acid arrow you will later know why because that does permanent damage every round but we stay with mineral tune because I like to buff our cities for fire you might say oh Boris go for flame arrow battle yes 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 no we take rise militia why because by sacrificing 300 of our fast growing population because not because we are great elves because they reproduce very very slowly but we are on paradise so we reproduce faster than you might think this will enable us to build defenses in cities that do not even have barracks and the basic units of all other races are quite useless not so for the gray elves they get longbowmen as basic units any questions i think not if you have history henry the fifth and you will know what I mean. So, slave works because we will not, will not build our cities or buildings with bricks and wood, we will build them with bodies. Fertile soil because food rules. Freezing weapon and blast weapon because yes, that's utmost important to buff our units. Now we'll, cl we'll click done, then the world will be created and then will take a short or while of time, much more for me than for you. And I will not talk in this time because that will uh, mess up the recording, I guess. And here we are. So what is the first thing we notice? In the down left corner we see an eye. That will tell us if there are enemies within our radius, within our um, watch radius. That's very important. Right of that you will have um, an icon that will allow you to switch between your troops. And then you have this plane indicator which will tell you which plane you're on. This is the highlighted one and you can change planes. That is the minimap, and now just imagine how much space there is if that is the minimap only of one of seven planes. In the upper right corner, we have our income, we have our food, which is very important to supply troops, and our mana, which we need for casting. In the uh, lower right, we have our information screen where we can change information and look at ourselves, for example. What have we? Because we're getting more of that on the way. We can get uh, more spell schools and different things by roaming dungeons. We'll have city management where we can adjust the tax rate to get more money but that will make our people unhappy. And we have a unit roster that will show us which units we have. For a moment we have archers and you see it's completely D&D. You see the stats, you see how many units we have in our uh, troop four if we were draconians we only have three hit points saves fortitude will and reflex movement armor class eight shots with the ranged weapons i hate games where games where you have unlimited shots with bows it ruins ruins the um tactics we have peaks evasion and living 
Evasion, all those of you who have played Thieves in D&D know that one. Forester, which is quite useless because we're walking in uh, combination with other units that do not have Forester. And you see we have Piercing Attacks. That is very important if you, for example, fight Skeletons. They will not take much damage from um, Piercing Attacks. We have Druids. They can cast spells. Now what spells can they cast? You can even uh, let that show to you that way. Forester build siphon and purify title that's how they look that are their stats and that's their upkeep and then we have a hero Kyrin the learned not my favorite but that comes by default I have no chance to do anything against that he's a sage so he's producing five research points and he can cast some spells not the best actually but at least some and he is a living creature. He has a wand, but only, I think, with one shot, which is not great. And, yeah, that's the inventory. Yes, you can equip things, rings and armor and cloaks and helmets and shields and whatever you like. As long as he can do that. But I think he's a mage. He will never be able to wear a shield. So what else is there? Forge. Yes, you can build items. You have no idea how many. Just look at this. These are the one-handed weapons, and I have not chosen a different material, which I can only do if I have access to that material, and I can give it special abilities and bonuses and spells on it, and oh god, don't ask, a lot. Problem is, that will cost a lot of mana to build that, and we don't have that at the moment. So, what else do we have? The magic paddle, yes. We're getting, our people and our buildings are generating power, and we can distribute the power between spellcraft, research and mana. Spellcraft meaning the more we invest here the more spells or the more mana we can cast in one round. For example at the moment we can cast up to 40 mana each round. If we want to cast a spell that costs 80 mana it will take two turns. If it costs 20 we will cast two of that in one turn. Research that's pretty safe of self-explaining and we're taking all that to mana because at the moment we have zero and we have a lot of spells to cast. At the moment we're casting no spells, at the moment we're not researching anything and we're not crafting anything. We have alchemy which allows us to transform mana into gold and the other way around. We have no active enchantments and no special events. We have no diplomacy at the moment because we do not know anyone. And at the moment we're not casting any spells because we have no mana. There are spells that work only on the strategic map, there are spells that work on the tactic maps, and there are spells that work permanently, or sh summon things, even. We put a spell for research, and I think we go for Unholy Weapon, because I love Unholy Weapon, it's a, it's a great spell. So it will take some time, because at the moment only our hero is placing his nose in the books. So what else is there to say about the world? You see this little uh, bonuses here that we get for our city. Let's have a look at our city. It gets two times dark wood, which means if we have an alchemy lab, we can advance and enchant our troops, and we can build items with that bonus. At the moment we have three bonuses to food, and this little bonus here to our population growth. And we get a little more income from the silver ore. We have one guard in our city automatically. And we have three people building things and one guy still making food. We're building housings for the start. These are the buildings that we can build at the moment. The red ones are not available yet. And the, uh, the white ones we can build. For the moment we will just stock our population. So, what else is there to know? We can adjust taxes if we want to, but at the moment that would be a bad idea because, you see, we will get unhappy people and making the tax down will not help any. So, about the world around us. You see that? It's protected. Possible award allows to travel between te two teleportation stones. It's protected by Nagas, which have a lot of life points and know how to deal damage. They have poison, acid immunity, poison immunity, toughness, living and venomous, which is not good for us because we're fighting with acid with our druids. 
and they have phantom warriors that are not that big of a problem because yes they are immune to mundane damage which means um yeah they're not taking much damage from normal attacks but on the other hand um we can get magic attacks quite easily and they ignore our armor we're gray elves we do not have any armor to speak of so that will not help a lot Actually, these guys do not seem to be immune to mundane weapons. Okay, whatever. And there is this thing here. If we go there, we will get 500 population. So guess what? That's where our first trip takes us. So, is there any more to do in the first round? I don't think so. So let's go to second. This might be a good place for a new city, but we'll know that in a second. So, you go there and interact. Population increased by 500. That's a hell of a lot. And guess what we will do now? We will skip this and we will build um, a granary. Normally, it would take us six turns to build that. Woohoo! I don't want to wait six turns. We'll do... Oh, <laughs> we have to work. wait one more round because guess what? Uh, we only have 14 or 17 mana. There is swordsmen and raiders. That's a lot. And there's a lot of stuff there. I think that's well protected. But we can have a look at that. Oh, I totally wasted a round. Don't take don't take this round as a good build that. So and now we're building housings again and I think Nah not yet. I thought we would get enough food out of that. Oysters. And that's not even a bad city. We could build a city here. One, two And we get this, and that, and this. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's do next turn. We're leaking mana still. Oh, yes. Move it, move it, move it, move it. So, what else can we build? I think we'll build housings and try to build a new city as soon as possible. Oh boy, that city will be absolutely terrifyingly great. Interact, let's see if how many of them are there. Swordsmen, raiders, raiders and raiders. I think we can take them on. Wonderful. And deployment. You see, there are many numbers, yes, but we can do Earth to Mud, which we will do. The most dangerous of them, in my eyes, are the Swordsmen, because they are armored. And you see, they, they are dying already. Um, a Mindstorm, what does that do? Uh, reduces the reflexes. No, that's not a big help. Psychonic Plast. I think that is the best thing we can do at the moment. Well, it does damage. And we will not be shooting at anyone with the archers yet. Because I want to cast something on the archers myself before we do anything, and that is Bless Weapon. Because now we will be able to hit the enemy better, hopefully. So, you, my friends, will do an acid arrow on those guys. And you cannot cast anything anymore because, oh, we can do one more psionic blast. Nice. Actually surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, they're getting a little bit too close for my loving. Uh, 
and that was strangely not the end of them. They do three damage. I'm not very good at doing damage. My guys here are not as bad as you might think at that point. But not as good as you hope. We have no mana left, so no spell casting for us. I think we should go a little bit back. Get back, and I think we need a new earth to mud here. You get bad and hammer that guy. I said hammer that guy. We still have four shots, that's more than we'll need. Yeah, it cost us a lot of mana. Point given, but we've also gained at 19 and gold and experience, which is nice. Oh boy, this is too much for us. Definitely. I think we're good for the moment. We're building houses, yes. We have to wait two more turns before, before we can cast um, the settlers thing. There are even yum yum crystals. But we must build the city. Oh, this is evil. Question is, where do we build the city to get all the stuff? Okay. Um, we need a wider radius to scout. Increased population. Yes, we know that. I think we can cast another spell. And... Call me nuts, but I want to have a freeze, no, a blast weapon on our arches. Permanently installed. It will take two more rounds to get the population up for sacrifice to get a settler, because a settler will also cost, cost us a um, thousand population to build. Oh, and we have an unhappy person. But there is no reason to build or to cast a spell already of tranquility because they will be out of unhappiness within seconds, or more precise, next round. That looks like a great place for another city as well. Yeah, I strongly believe in um, strong breeding. So now, we disable that, we build pioneers, and then we simply slave works our way through to this. And then I want to pioneer to go this way. Now what have we here? Archangels. Oh boy! No way in hell. Look at the armor class, look at the life points, at the mana, and this guy even can cast a hell of a lot of stuff. What do we have here? Sea Serpent. Any questions? I don't think so. So, you will be building housings. We have a lot of food. I think it's legitimate to take that down for one round. Minus three food. Okay, perhaps I'm overdoing things. Okay, next turn. What are this this um, shell thingies? Oysters are actually good for. I asked myself. Plus two gold income. Could be worse. Oh, look at this. There is something. Arbalestiers, a rune cannon. What the hell is a rune cannon? Six shots. Siege engine, this thing can do a lot of damage. So, no, we're not into that one. 
I want you to move this way. Another good position for a city, if you ask me. And you can build something again. And this time I want to build... I think this one here will do just fine. Slave work your way out of this. Wonderful. And population again, please. I could cast a spell of fertility on myself. Maybe I should do that. Next round. Um, fertile cell 48. Oh boy, that's a lot. I think we already start casting. This city does not have that much food bonus, by the way, because Fertile Soul only gives plus one food income. If you've got uh, animals on your side, for example, that will be much greater. Okay, let's quick think. Cities are built the following way. One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, right. One, two, left. One, two, one, two, right and left. Okay, so if we build the city here, we will get this resource, this, 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 and that. If we build the city here, we will not get this one. That will be wasted. If we build the city here, we'll not get this too. So that is actually not the worst. The problem is this is desert, what we're actually building on. If I build it here, we'll have one, two, get this one. We'll have one, two, get this one, I think. We should go this way and build our city here. Yep. Yep, it's hard, but I think that's how we do things. Nice. Of course, they will be building housings ASAP. So, we have a lot of food. Let's do something against that. Can you do the minus food thing as well? No, we cannot. Shit. There is another tree of life there. I love that. Build a city there as fast as we can. But before we do that, we will build a city here. And yes, we will be uh, gathering population again to build another settler for this area. Because settling is king, if you ask me. Have as many cities as you can, as fast as you can, because every elf you have gives you money and power. So. Can you now, please? For the love of God, it still does not work. Is that possible in any way? I don't think so. But at least we can do that for some more... Crap. I need another granary, I think. I will get another granary. I've got an idea. I don't especially love it, but that's how life is. You there. Stop doing that. Build me a... Uh, where is it? Oh, you cannot build a granary because you've got no builder's hall. How long will it take you to build a builder's hall? 15 rounds. Oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay. Well, so it only take, took two rounds. And then we'll be building housings again. Ah. That's just my life. It's not working closely as it should. And there are no real good targets close to us. This are swordsmen, spearmen, and this are crossbowmen. I don't like crossbowmen a lot. They're dangerous. Trust me. They're building as fast as they can, which is good. We'll stay with the miners in food production for one more round.
Although it does not make any difference if you ask me. Because 120 will not be enough and 140 will not be enough either. So there is no big difference there. They get ready to build another building, I hope. So let's make a turn. I think I have move, heard movement downstairs. Why is this Boris so eager on settling that much, so fast, so close? Well, because <laughs> each city is growing population, and each population growing is mana and um, power, uh, mana and gold. So I want you to build a granary. Perhaps this will help. Hooray! Yeah, not as much as I hope, but at least a little bit from 150 to 170. Good. And we have uh, more food. And now it's enough food. Thank the gods. So. Question is, how many are in there? Not enough points. Oh, great. <gasps> Cow spawn, this is, um, well, a debuff beholder, you could say, as far as I know. Perhaps I take that debuffed back. That does not look debuffed to me. Is that a good place for a city? Plains? Always look, you see, in down here, on the down left, you see numbers and percentages. Plus 5%. And all that. That means uh, how it will support another city. Of course, we'll be build our next city here to get this, that, this, that, and that. But we have darkwood food, food, and yum crystals here as well. The only problem is this is desert. That might be a bad choice. So they're building, they're building, everything's fine. We're going for next turn. So, how many are there? One of each. Okay, I think we can take that down. The problem will be the enemy crossbowman. Oh, and I'm wounded. Great. Totally awesome. This might have been a very, very bad idea. What does Vertigo do? To hit chance minus two? And armor class minus two. And this, what, wait a minute. This here will do. 1d6 arcane, maybe that's enough to take them down. Not even close. They can move three. Oh boy, we don't even have great chances of hitting them. We can do a freezing buff on our troops. There's still more and more than enough of them on the battlefield. Holy mother of God. Okay, you can you take down that guy? Yes, you can. Can I have an earth to mud, please? Yes, I can. Can you please, please heal our friend? Great healing, my friend. Great healing. Do another psycho blast. Good thing is that does not cost us many money, uh, mana. It is completely given to us by uh, the guy himself. Done. 
That was a short call, if you ask me. Blazing material spell, an artifact. Fighter's shields, large shields. Some mana, some gold, and some fame. Okay, could have been worse. Could have been worse, could have been worse. I don't think that you can use shields. Where is the shield? Oh, there it is. Why can I not touch this sketch? I think it's because he's uh, not the shield guy. Crap, I would really like him to wear that thing. Okay, no problem here. We want to build another settler. Good choice. Slave works. Cast. Ta da! And you will immediately go this way. <laughs> we have minus food, but that's not the main problem. We want to build more housings. You might ask yourself, Boris, why are you not building your ass off in uh, buildings? I've seen you buildings, building a complete city up with six or seven buildings in less than 15 turns. Yes, I could, but then we'll go into the minus here, and that's not good for us at all. Yeah, we cannot take down those guys. Impossible. question is, should he go here? You see, there is food, there is dark wood, there is... We can make it here. One, two, this. One, two, this. And one, two, this. Would be great. I think you better go here. Because more yummy, yummy crystals. And the crystals are perfect for us. Uh, elementaries, they cast this. I hate casters. Look at this. Fireball, Ice Bolt, Frostbite, Lightning Strike, Thunderclap, I don't care. And these guys have spells as well. Sunblast, Flame Arrow, no, 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 no. Definitely not, sir. Okay, how are things going here? They have 300 population. Perhaps they should build something. Barracks. A smithy, a shrine. I think a shrine would be nice because it gives mana. And we should always think of the mana. And where is the shrine? There he is. Plus one power. Nice. Good work. Good work, good work, good work. They should build up to a thousand again, a thousand three hundred, and then we'll be produce our next settler and he will go there. Wonderful, wonderful. You're not that wonderful, by the way. So. We're well lu very lucky that this is not Fallen Enchantress, because in Fallen Enchantress, if I remember it right, when you settle close to a dungeon and you uh, have that dungeon within your city's reach, guess what happens? It gets activated. Which means <laughs> the beasts will come out of that. So, we get the yummy crystals, we've got two times food and the dark wood, which is enough for me. Build the city. Thank you, sir. I want to ask you to do this and to this housing. Excellent. You build housings. You build that. And you build that. Everything is fine. Wonderful. I want you to go a little bit more in that direction. Ooh. Elven Hazards. Charge. Look at the armor class. 19. We're no, never ever going to hit that unit. No chance. And I still wonder why we cannot equip the shield. I think that is because he is a... Because he is a mage. We have not been very lucky up to this point, to be precise. We didn't get any special or anything like that. Why did you move out of the troop? 
That makes no sense. Didn't order you to do that. And we'll sure as hell not split our po forces. Yay! Research is complete! Can we move one more? No, we cannot. Okay, we can research a new spell. Heroism! Target... What? Gains maximum level? You're kidding me. I say woohoo because we have a special on that. Re just remember, we have the warlord trade, so getting our people up to maximum means a lot to us. So, you could build something again. A temple. Nope. Research points. Yeah. City income. We have no income in all. Barracks. No. Well, I think... The Sage Guild for research, perhaps? Or we simply let the city grow? No, 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 no. You know the drill. Cast it. And then get me this again. So. We've done everything we could here. I think... We should build another builder's hall and another granary here. Because food production will allow us to wield or to support a bigger army, actually. <gasps> Ooh, nice, 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 nice. I like that one. Okay, I want to build something here. And I want to build a builder's hall. Twelve turns. I don't think so. Hehe. <laughs> there we go. Do that again. You're rising and you will be up for a new settler within one round. Good work. Yeah, I should build more military, I know. I know I should build more military, but I'm not the military guy. Simply put. And our hero needs more needs more experience. I know that too. So you have what it takes to build a new settler, and so you will do that exactly. And uh, slave work my way out of this. I totally love that spell. Call me the butcher, I don't care. Um, desert forest. Forest, yes, go for the forest. I like to build my cities in close proximity because that is the best way I can defend them. So you will be building housings again. And you will be working on that thing the next round. That will give us... I think that that city here will receive the people. He looks a little bit unhappy, that little elf, if you ask me. Yeah, please move on it. Yay! Population bonus! And what we have here... A gin? Uh, no, too much mana. And a sky drake. Sky what? And that is not even a dragon. So they'll be growing soon. You'll be going this way. Uh, should I build something here? I wanted to build something here, I'm not mistaken. I think it was a granary. Slave worked the shit out of this, guys. And you know what? You will build a shrine immediately because I want the power. 
<laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If only I had more mana. We'll not be getting it from that way, because they're far too powerful for that. Question is, will we find something that we can beat the crap out of with our troops? The moment that's not working that well, as you might imagine, or you might see. Yeah, yeah, this crossbow, I don't like the crossbowman a lot. So, I want you to build a sage guild because of the research. I don't want to research by power, I want to research by buildings. So, you build housings again, that's wonderful. Uh, I think... This is freezing cold, 1d3, that is negative energy. I think we should get ready to cast one more spell on our, on our friends here. Because that will be a not very funny fight, if you ask me. Oh. So, if I order you to build a city here, we'll get... All of that. Wonderful. And of course, look at this. We have got plenty of food. And we're building housings. Can we do anything about that food thing? No, everyone is already doing his best on that part. On the power leveling. We have 29 mana coming in. And yeah, that's still not enough. It's simply not enough. Okay. It's a shame. I don't care about the clerics. I don't care about the pikemen or all the other stuff. But the arbalests, this, this guy with the crossbows, they're dangerous because of their high armor class. That's a real problem. Who are you? And where exactly do you come from? Oh, wait a minute. That is an excellent opportunity. To heal ourselves up. Don't kill them in one shot, please. Close call. You do another heal. Did I say that I love druids? And we're up. And actually, you should do something for your experience. Kill someone. Nice work. They've got a level up! And I'm pretty sure wherever they come from, it's close. Um. Yeah. I think we've done good for today. We can cast that on our unit. Yes, the archers. Enchant them as best as you can. That's my motto. Okay. They're doing their best. They're doing their best. How can you produce so much people? Is that because of the food? No. Production? No. I don't get it. Perhaps it's the food. I don't know. Well, nevertheless, we're doing good for the moment, and I think we'll be doing good next time. Until then, bye.